Hi everybody and welcome to our St. Joseph the Worker Novena. This is day six and we will begin with our reflection. For the Christian, no matter what we are doing as work, we are admonished by the Apostle Paul to do it as unto the work of the Lord. That choice, that exercise of our human freedom, deciding to treat our work differently, places us in the position to receive the graces we need to both view it and to do it differently. It enables our work to change the world both within us and all around us. The way of viewing work includes all human work, not just what is sometimes viewed as the spiritual stuff. God incarnate, Jesus Christ, did not just do what is often called the spiritual stuff. All human work sanctifies us and changes the world around us. And now let's begin the Novena Prayer, seeking the intercession of St. Joseph the Worker. Beloved Father, through the life, death, and resurrection of your only begotten Son, Jesus the Christ, we have become your adopted sons and daughters. Through baptism, we are now members of his body, the Church. Our Savior, Jesus Christ, taught us that whoever does the will of my Father in heaven is my brother, my sister, or my mother. We thank you that that promise includes each and every one of us. As members of the family of Jesus, we turn to you in prayer. In Jesus, we are joined in a communion of love which is stronger than death, along with the saints, the holy ones. They are the great cloud of witnesses that the Bible speaks of. They have gone before us, marked with the sign of redemption, and lived their lives with faith. They inspire us by their holy lives, and they also pray for us from their place in your communion of love. And a special place of honor in that communion of saints is St. Joseph. He said yes to your call to be the chaste husband of Mary, the mother of the Lord, the foster father of Jesus, and the guardian of the Redeemer. A man of so few words, Joseph spoke with action and calls us each to the way of active faith. The patron of all workers also shows us that the dignity of all human work when joined to Jesus is fruitful. Joseph always said yes to your invitations of grace, and he always put Mary and Jesus ahead of himself. He invites us to do the same in our daily lives. The carpenter who taught the child Jesus to work with wood in the workshop of Nazareth shows us that all human work participates in the loving plan of redemption. At 33 years of age, Jesus, the carpenter's son, freely embraced the wood of the cross and reconciled us to you and to one, an and to one another for the sake of the world. Joseph loved Jesus, and Jesus loved Joseph, and that love continues on. St. Joseph, you who love Jesus with a genuine fatherly love, we ask you to pray for us as we follow the way of Jesus in our everyday lives. You understand the challenges of raising a family, earning a living, and facing the difficulties of life while always remaining faithful to God. We now turn to you and ask for your intercession. By your prayers, obtain for us the special graces we need to be faithful to our own specific vocation and live our lives in service to Jesus, just as you did. St. Joseph, today I specifically ask you, and now please state your prayer intentions out loud or in the silence of your heart. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. St. Joseph the Worker, pray for us.